Hello, welcome to ITV News Central. On the program tonight, condemnation after an outbreak of violence overnight in Bordesley Green in Birmingham. These mindless individuals do not represent the 99.9% .9 of the Muslims because the 99.9% .9 of the Muslims will be waking up in, 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 dis in disgust with the actions of last night. Yeah, a handful of idiots, basically. But the majority, they, they were lovely, they stayed, they, 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 they were so apologetic. Well, we'll ask the police if they were prepared enough. Also on the programme, a story of survival. The man who came back from 11,000 volts of electricity coursing through his body. Usually a welcome sign of summer, but why the Swift is now under threat. And you may be wondering why I've got fish in my hand. Well, I'm down here at Twycross Zoo feeding the penguins and I'll be bringing you the weather too. Good evening. Trouble flared in the Bordesley Green area of Birmingham last night after false reports on social media there was to be a far-right protest there. People in hoods and balaclavas targeted a pub and those inside. And the actions of the few intent on causing trouble were condemned by all. Ravneet Nanda, Nandra reports. It began as a gathering to protect the local mosque, but ended with an attack on a pub and a man kicked to the ground before the crowd swarms around. He ended up getting punched and then it just escalated from there. So they were trying to break into the pub. The, hand, the, the minority were trying to get into the pub, booting the door and we were wedging the doors and we got tables in the end because it was like, they're going to get in. They've damaged the doors, they've cracked the glass at the far side and it was just really scary to be fair. Manager Linda put her customers and staff first, and it came at a price. We're trying to barricade all the doors up with tables and chairs, and then my hand got jammed in between the door frame and the table and ended up like that. We're very, very sorry of what has happened here today. As many of you Soon after, the happened, crowd dispersed as elders from the Muslim community really took it upon themselves to apologise on behalf of the few with the message this does not represent us. Just uh, a mindless few individuals that clearly didn't come to protect the mosque and they all just obviously had an agenda which was just to fuel a bit of, uh, um, just to cause mayhem. And uh, I'd like to really say that those are the people that bring the rest of the community down. There was misinformation on social media yesterday that the EDL were going to be here. Do you think that is what triggered what happened? Clearly social media is the main form of uh, media that the youngsters follow and yes, that was what people were looking at. And as you've seen, people, probably 99% of the people came out were law-abiding citizens and there's a small fringe of those who caused the destruction of what was happening behind us. When this morning, I was patronised to work this morning. And I, I shouldn't, shouldn't, I shouldn't be like that. No, 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 you shouldn't. no, no, no. But it's fear on the minds of local residents, fearful to step out of their own homes, some having lived there for over 40 years. Councillor Baz was there, but says the police weren't. But I was shocked to see that there was no actual police presence within the protesters. And what that allowed was that during the later part of the evening, it allowed protesters to go off in different directions. We don't want any sort of violence or interruption to that, really. We want people to live harmoniously and in a, in a tolerant way of each other's differences. Please stay calm. We have no place for anybody coming from outside and trying to provoke you to do these things. Naveed has offered to pay for the damage to the clumsy swam, a gesture of grace at a tumultuous time. Ravneet Nandra, ITV News, Bordesley Green. West Midlands Police has arrested.